world-class innovators focus their energies and their focus on innovation with a sense of urgency. They know that we live in an extremely challenging time in which we've got tremendous challenges we need to solve. You know, here in the U.S., the attitude of some folks has been we should not wait, waste a good drought. You know, maybe what we've just gone through in this country should inspire us to action to solve some of the big, biggest challenges of our time. We know that in this country, 16% of the water supply in the U.S. is lost due to leaky pipes. It goes back into the ground. We know what that means, you know, putting it another way, that we lose enough water every six days to supply the nation for an entire day. We know that only 7% of the communities in the U.S. recycle wastewater. We know we have tremendous challenges to solve. We know we live in a water wasteful society. You know, it takes 52 gallons to produce one egg. It takes 713 gallons to produce one t-shirt. A pound of prime steak takes 1,857 gallons. The production of a single automobile uses up 104,000 gallons of water, mostly for the rubber in the tire. We know that we live in a world of tremendous challenges. We know the 32 billion gallons of wastewater discharged every day, 12 billion gallons are discharged directly into oceans and lakes, where we're not using it for its potential. We know that, you know, in India, demand's going to soar 1.65 times. We know that, you know, around the world, as we get this massive transition of economies, you know, where, where groups, millions, billions of people are transitioning into middle class. We know the demand for clean water and water recycling and wastewater treatment is going to grow at significant numbers. We know as these economies become industrialized that we are going to see excessive demand for more water. In India, it's going to go from 50 billion cubic meters of water to 120 billion in just a short 10 years. World-class innovators prime themselves with a sense of urgency. They prime themselves with a passion of purchase that we need to do the tough things now. We need to focus on innovation right now because it is going to prove to be one of the biggest challenges, if not the biggest challenge, of the 21st century. And what happens as the world continues to grow? As another three billion people come into the world, all demanding, all demanding their right to clean water. Are we up to the challenge to solve the greatest challenges of our time? You know, one of the uh, fascinating statistics I dug out was, you know, again, coming back to the US, you know, it is estimated in this country we would have to invest $100 billion per year, $100 billion per year, simply to keep the infrastructure up and running and in top quality shape. I was lying down here yesterday, the fellow next to me was on his way to the conference as well, venture capitalist looking at the water industry, and he said, it's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen, given the economic challenges that exist in this country, and this is why innovation, challenging ourselves to do things in a different way, looking at all the things that we will see out in the trade show floor, you know, that help us accomplish great things in achieving our goals, why the focus on doing things differently is so darn critical. Innovators prime themselves with a sense of urgency. You know, Einstein made the observation that, you know, if you do the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result each time, that's what we call insanity. You need to go into this conference with a mindset that you are going to challenge yourself to think in new and different ways. You know, and think of a new form, you know, of looking at the world and the challenges you're willing to take on. This is what world-class innovators do. World-class innovators do this by thinking boldly, by taking big, bold decisions, by looking at their world and framing it in a very different way.